Couperin is a collection of three of his pieces for harpsichord. When transcribing music from keyboard to guitar, it's always really successful to use music from harpsichord. Uh, the reason being harpsichord's range is smaller, more like the guitars, not as vast as the keyboard. And the volume. A harpsichord had a lower volume um, and was actually a plucked string instrument. The mechanism inside the harpsichord is to pluck the string, not hammer the string. Um, the Reverie, uh, La Goya wrote for Ida Presti, and there was a fantastic duo, Alexandra La Goya and Ida Presti, um, really one of the world's greatest guitar duos. Ida Presti tragically died very young, um, so we don't have as much material from both Ida Presti and Alexandra La Goya as we would like. Um, so this Reverie is, is a really beautiful piece, um, very gentle um, in its opening and in its ending, uh, but it it seems to homage or um, quote, reference lots of other beautiful pieces. You can hear some uh, Lobet, the Catalan folk song element coming through the piece, and you can hear other little gentle quotations to French composers throughout. Gustave Samuelsville and his uh, Serenade. This piece is a really quirky piece, um, written in 1925, um, uh, commissioned by Segovia. Um, a very interesting little piece which has um, a very French idiom but then also some really Spanish techniques like rasqueado and different features coming through. Um, so it sort of has a foot in both camps, one in, in the sort of accepted home of the classical guitar in Spain with the, with the sound world and these techniques and the other one this very elegant um, refined French serenade in fashion. I really wanted to feature a beautiful short preludio by Jean Francais. This uh, preludio actually opens the whole recording. It's a piece that homages some styles from the Baroque, but also has a kind of interesting harmony where Francais attempts to disguise the key that we're really in. Um, and sometimes there's some minor and major shifts going on. Um, it's very beautiful and does a great job of sort of bridging the gap between the early Couperin and the later 20th century repertoire that features on the disc.